Okay, so we're back and I've done my compositing. I've made a few changes, moved some layers around, used a mask or two, did some feathering, and this is what I've come up with. You may come up with something completely different. I encourage you to. Now, let's do just a little color correction and we should just about be done with this project. So let's come in here and take a look at this fire that we have. And this one's called Fire 02, I believe. It needs a little correction, I think. So let's come over here, go to Curves, and I'm going to pop that on the fire. Let's just start playing with this a little bit and see what we can come up with. I think it's a little too bright. So I'm going to give it a little adjustment like that. And we can come over here to the main explosion and drop a curves on it as well. Play around with that a little bit. Let me go to the reds. Take it up. Pull that out a little bit. Now we have a pretty nice looking fireball here. All right. So that's taken a while. Let me just pause the video while that renders. Okay, and we're back. So that's my color correction for the fire, the explosion. And let me just play with this a little bit more down here. See if we can boost up the red in that too, just a tiny bit. I don't think we're going to be able to get it looking exactly like the, the fireball, but we can give it a shot. Let's pull it down just a little tiny bit more. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Now, something else that I did was I put a lens flare in here. So I'm going to go to a new adjustment layer and let's put a lens flare on that. And let's see, 105 millimeter prime. Put that right there. And basically, what I did was at the point of the explosion, uh, right here, I just animated the flare or the flare brightness, I should say. So right now it's at zero. And let's type U to open that up. Let's say we go up to about five or six, animate that all the way up. Maybe something like 185%. Go forward about five. Take that down. See what that looks like. Okay, so I've got the lens flare working now. And that's just a real quick, when the blast comes up, we animate that lens flare brightness. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Shut that down. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take everything here select it, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and move all attributes, say OK. And you know what, I made a mistake. Let me Control Z to go back out of that. I don't think I selected everything here. Yeah, I didn't. So select everything, go back to Layer, Pre-Compose, Move Attributes, click OK. So now everything is in this comp. We need to make sure that we have everything selected here. Okay, we can shut this down. And we've got our pre-comp here. Okay. Now I'm going to do another adjustment layer here. Adjustment layer. And I'm going to put a Magic Bullet Looks on here. Now, if you're not familiar with Magic Bullet Looks, it's something that is provided by Red Giant. And you can find them over here. They make plugins for all kinds of programs, and they are fantastic. So if you get a chance, go over here and take a look at it. So we're going to be using Magic Bullet Looks. And we'll click on the Edit, and it will start to boot up. And it looks like my computer is giving me some problems here, so I'm going to pause the video until I get it up. Okay, this is sort of interesting. The window for Magic Bullet Looks will not size all the way down so that I can get the whole thing in here. But basically what's going to happen is it's going to open this dialog and you have a lot of control over different colors and hue, saturation, all sorts of things. What I'm going to do is just come over here and choose a look that I like and click on here. You can see how that updates. So I'm going to go down and just find something that I think looks good. You can spend days in here. But I'm going to maybe take a look at something like Coolish Alternative. I think I like that. 
That looks good. Okay, and then I'm going to click finished. There we go. Now we're cooking. And the last thing I want to add to this, we're going to put one more adjustment layer. Put that on top. And I want real smart motion blur. And this is a plugin, again, one of these plugins that everyone should have. And it does amazing motion blur. So I think we're just about done. I'm going to go ahead and render this out and show you as soon as I get back.